and welcome to my garden even though we're in my kitchen once again this week I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade fungicide using some very simple home ingredients so let's see how we make this We're going to make this fungicide and we're going to address the subject of powdery mildew. I know nobody who's a gardener likes to hear that. Powdery mildew is, it's its a nemesis this time of year, especially if you live in a place with high humidity. Um, this is going to help you eliminate that. It might not, you know, once you notice powdery mildew, sometimes it might be a little too late, but we can help save your plants from being more damaged than they might already be. I'm going to take you out in the garden a little bit later. I'm going to show you what powdered mildew looks like. But this fungicide, very simple. We're going to use an empty spray bottle right there. We're going to start off with about a quart of water. I probably have a little more than a quart of water. We're going to use some baking soda, which is a miracle drug. You should have it in your house. I usually buy it in five pound bags at Sam's Club, but this box has been lurking around in my pantry. We're gonna use some dish soap again. We're gonna use some vegetable oil again. And remember, all these things work in concert together. The baking soda is the magic ingredient here. And that is what is going to help eliminate the powdery mildew. And it's gonna make it go away and it's gonna help it stop from spreading. What I'm gonna to use to this quart of water is a tablespoon and a half, and this is a tablespoon and a half measure because when you buy these KitchenAid measuring cups, they, well, measuring spoons, they come with a one and a half teaspoon or one and a half tablespoon uh, measure. So baking soda, and if you keep baking soda in your pantry like I do, make sure you take a Sharpie marker and write it on there because when your teenage daughter goes to bake cookies and you have one like this and you have cornstarch in the other and you know what it is, but she doesn't, you know, it just saves a lot of confusion. Okay, so baking soda in a quart of water. Also, we're going to use a tablespoon each. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to use a tablespoon of oil. Doesn't matter what kind of oil. Don't use olive oil. That's just a waste of good ingredients. Just use all-purpose vegetable oil. And you'll notice that I did the oil first. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of dish soap and it doesn't matter what kind um, if you like to use the green style um, like the environmentally friendly is what I mean when I say that dish soap then that's even you know that's fine too it's all good I like to buy cheap dish soap because you know when you have teenagers in your house they like to drink that stuff and just give it a good mix and then I'm going to pour this in my spray bottle and we're going to go out in the garden and I'm going to show you what powdery mildew is. Now, one caveat. It is probably the warmest part of the day for me right now, or close to it. If you can, try and avoid spraying this on your plants when it's really warm outside and really sunny. If you can do it early in the morning or in the evening before you know the sun goes down then that is what I recommend also uh, an overcast day is actually like the perfect day to spray if you are able to now I do still think that it's best to avoid doing this when it's super hot outside because um, you can burn your leaves and we don't want to do that we're trying to save our leaves so I'll meet you out in the garden and I'll show you what powdery mildew looks like okay, you can see here what these leaves look like you see how these have dried up and they're kind of mottled with yellowish looking ick well that my friend is powdery mildew and this looks like I've got a little Mexican beetle having some dinner but I have cucumbers growing anyway the majority of these plants, and like I said, I conducted an experiment this year. I've planted cucumbers in this spot for several seasons, and honestly, can't say that I've had the best success. I thought it was because I was planting more than one variety, but it turns out maybe it's just this area. Yeah. So I have cucumbers in another section of the garden, and I'll walk you over there, I'll show what those look like, but this is what powdery mildew looks like also it will get a white film and all you have to do 
is spray with this spray with your baking soda and your soap and a little bit here goes a long way and you're going to want to monitor this and about once a week you're going to want to come back and give it another spray okay these are the cucumbers i planted as a test looks like something's been munching on one of those leaves but that's okay um i'm going to give these a spray just as a precautionary measure it's okay if it gets on my grape tomato but remember, these are the cucumbers that I bought at the nursery that were on the dollar clearance rack because it was too late in the season for people to be planting. Not true. Never assume that. So, I mean, look. These are the grape, the grape tomato plant that was on that dollar clearance bin. And look at the bracts of tomatoes are already starting to produce. And we will have grape tomatoes coming out of our ears until October. And that is no joke. So, this is what healthy cucumber looks like. Even though those cucumbers over there are pseudo they're they're quasi healthy let's say because i still am producing uh vegetables on them this one here has just really started to take off and you see i have cucumbers coming on down toward the bottom and it's really taking off quite well so that is how you make a homemade fungicide baking soda vegetable oil and dish soap so I hope that this helps. I hope you learned something. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next week, happy planting.